be taking a look at Harmony's Paint Bucket and Paint Dropper tool. The basics of the Paint Dropper are simple enough. Simply select the Paint Dropper in the Tools toolbar right here. Alright, and for example, here black is or highlighted in the color palette as the color that's selected. But if we use the Paint Dropper to click the blue on the butterfly, it'll switch to uh, blue being selected right here. Switching over to the paint bucket right over here, click and hold on it, and you'll see there are different types of paint buckets you can choose from, and I'll go over some of them right now. The regular paint bucket simply paints everything that you click on. The paint unpainted option will paint everything that has yet to be painted. So for example, if I click on a different color, this green right here, and I try to click on the blue that's already been painted, it won't allow me to. However, it will paint everything that's been left unpainted. And the repaint option will only paint over parts of the drawing area that have already been painted. If I try to click here, in this empty space, it won't paint anything. And of course, the unpaint option will unpaint any area that already has been painted. One last tip, say you were drawing this butterfly and you knew that the black outline was going to stay black no matter what, you can protect the color by going into the color palette, selecting that color. Let me bring this up. Right click it, select protect color, and after that no matter what paint bucket option you've chosen uh, and no matter what process uh, you're doing, uh, the black will remain black no matter what because it's protected. Here in the tool properties are other functions of the paint bucket and you can read more about what they do and how they function by selecting help and doing a search in the online help. Okay, that's been a quick look at Harmony's paint bucket and paint dropper tool.